a police officer pulls out a gun on an eight year old child thinking the eight year old child is a grown man that the cop is looking for. Um, let me give you the video first and we'll get into it. Here it is. Pulls out a weapon on an eight year old. Put up the picture. You see that small child wearing a football jersey? Well, the cop thought this was a man, a suspect. Shanice Stewart, pregnant California mother, says her eight year old son is traumatized after Sacramento police officers held them at gunpoint. After mistaking the eight year old child for a teenage suspect wanted on two felonies. Keep that picture up. Does that look like a teenager to you? Of course not. Uh, and the cop is supposed to be a detective, he's supposed to be an investigator. Supposedly, this investigator thought this was a teenager. Stewart is now demanding the department issue a family an apology for their show of force toward her child. Let me give you details of what happened. Officers from the Sacramento Police Department pulled over Ms. Stewart and her son, Brandon, while they were on their way to a football practice. This was October 17th at about 5 p.m. As soon as she was stopped, officers pulled out their firearm. Quote, I looked in the rearview mirror, and that's when I noticed the police officers had their guns out, Stewart said to KCRA. They had them aimed towards the car. So I listened to their instructions to toss my keys out of the window, open my door with my left hand, and get out slowly with my hands in the air. She added, I just followed instructions. Now, remember, during this time, this is the time that's likely the most dangerous because if one cop says, oh, I thought they were reaching for a weapon, and they start shooting and kill both. Well, guess what? According to the Supreme Court, they get to go home. Uh, it's um, a subjective standard for police officers, as long as they say they felt their lives were in jeopardy. They can be wrong. It is not objective for them. It is subjective for them. There's more. While they were detained, now remember the insanity here, they still proceeded with detaining clearly a baby, eight years of age. While they were detained, the officers informed her son, informed her, excuse me, that her son, they suspected of being involved in various criminal activity. Stewart was taken aback as more law enforcement agents arriving in at least three additional cars. Uh, and then they brought in the helicopter for the eight year old. Okay, they brought in the helicopter, joined the officers that initially stopped her. I'll put up the picture again. Okay. Um, why do we need a helicopter? They're detained. You've detained a child going to football practice. Uh, you have backup, you have guns drawn. All of a sudden, a helicopter comes to the scene. And not one of you, uh, let's just say geniuses, realize this is a freaking eight year old baby. Dumbasses, every single one of you. <sighs> All right, um, put up his other pictures. Yeah, they thought he was grown damn near, okay? Um, Really, my eight year old baby fits the description of the suspect you're looking for. She told KCRA she was thinking, I just didn't, it just didn't make sense to me. She said, she posted on Facebook, the police thought her son was a drug dealer. 
Yes, going to football practice in an eight-year-old body. And they also believe that this drug dealing eight-year-old going to football practice child engaged in home invasions in addition to selling narcotics. What? This is all a true story, ladies and gentlemen. This is what the police believed about this eight-year-old child. According to Stewart, who was also nine months pregnant, during the stop, her son started to shout. Why was he shouting? He was worried about his mother. He wasn't worried about himself, he was worried about his mom. And asked the officers not to take his mother away. In the post, she said she feared for her son's life because the police insisted he fit the description of the suspect. The son also was afraid for the mother's life. He can be heard in the video screaming to his mother, please don't leave, please wait. So the uh, police eventually admitted officers made a mistake releasing this official statement. They read in part, here it is, uh, from a distance, officers observed a juvenile who they believed to be a wanted suspect. All windows on the sides and back of the vehicle were heavily tinted. Based on the information regarding firearm history, a high risk stop was initiated. They realized the juvenile in the vehicle was not the wanted suspect. And at that point, the high risk stop was ended. We must acknowledge that in this instance, a mistake was made. Our officers provided an explanation to the mother and her son. Our department has been in contact with the mother since the incident. We recognize the impact that police interactions can have on our community members. Um, I, I hope, I hope there's a lawyer involved somewhere here, um, definitely, because the emotional distress created in this situation, and then their explanation: uh, Well, it was a high risk. Uh, it was a high risk arrest or high risk whatever. Uh, it was still high risk when they detained them. Clearly, one of your guys can see this is an eight-year-old kid. Clearly, they said this is a child. This person is eight years old. That nobody removed the handcuffs or stopped the uh, insanity at that point. So let's put up the chief. Buck stops with Kathy, Kathy Lester. Per people, the department said investigation into the incident is underway. All right. Don't hold your breath. Stewart told KCRA she can't shake the feeling of being worried and scared, saying her son could be experiencing even more trauma. What kid wants to live in fear of a police officer possibly stopping him in the future and doing something to him? Is this how they deal with young children, young men, young, you know, minorities? Per CNN, she's seeking a therapist for her son who has been unable to talk about the incident. She also wants the department to pay for the counseling and intends to file a complaint against them. Um, my encouragement, uh, ma'am, please, please find an attorney. Please find an attorney, quick, okay? Um, the emotional distress, the fact that he can't talk about it, it doesn't mean he's dealing with it. It means your child is not dealing with it. And it is residing in his subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is a great protector to our conscious thought. So the subconscious mind has stored it to protect them. But unfortunately, we are governed by our subconscious thoughts. So this thing that seemingly changed his thinking about police and his thinking about the world. Because remember, he's traumatized because these people damn near took his mother away by force, by weapon, detained his own mom. All right. Um, Sharon Hill of a thing, uh, the excuse from the police doesn't fly. No, it doesn't. And it's um, <clears throat> sad and painful to hear that mother 
begging and talking about what her child will have to face. Tamir Rice's mother still has nightmares, I'm sure. What was it, 1.2 seconds? A baby. But to the police, in too many instances, certain children are viewed as coming out of the womb, fully formed adults who face adult unfair consequences.